What's up, Mabuhai Squad? Yes, good morning. It's a new day. Mm -hmm. Now, guys, we have something very, very big and epic about to happen now. Mm -hmm. And we're here at a very special place. And that place is. The GMA 7 building. Okay guys, for those of you who aren't aware, this is GMA Network. This is like one of the biggest TV stations in the Philippines here. Why? Because RJ and I have a guesting for TV. Okay. You're so guapo, babe. <laughs> Look at that outfit. <gasps> and that new haircut. Wow. Who is this? Who is this? Guys, we're twinning today because um, RJ and I were invited to do a TV guesting for a show called Arnold Clavio. Yeah, Late Night. Late Night with Arnold Clavio. We're gonna be part of a late night show, guys. And they asked us to twin. <laughs> Obviously, they're gonna be talking about us as like a couple because it being Pride Month, I guess. Uh, and so we agreed to do it. So guys, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Mikey Bustos. Be sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join our Mabuhay squad. We'll be your daily dose of positive vibes online. Yes. Now back in 2000, well 2011 to about 2012, back when I used to do a lot more TV, I was a lot more active in Philippine TV show business. I used to come here pretty frequently, almost every day. I had three regular shows. Um, I was part of a weekend noon time TV show called Party Pilipinas. I was also part of a comedy gag show called Bubble Gang and part of of a comedy, what, what is it, sitcom uh, called Tweets for My Sweet. So I used to be here pretty frequently. And then on top of that, I had TV guestings for various shows, so. This is where it all happens. And my parents at home in Toronto, Canada, they watch GMA Network, this TV show. It's called GMA Pinoy TV. They just get it through satellite or whatever. Part of Studio 4. This is our change room. Oh, yeah, Paul Asian. Hey. I mean, a hairy Asian. <laughs> Guys, we're early. <laughs> I remember when I first started to do TV, I used to be on time all the time. And one thing I quickly learned is Philippine TV also runs on Filipino time, which means if they call you for one, you come at like 1.30 to 2 p.m. Guys, I'd like you to meet Ivan, the show Hi. producer. Yes, and coordinator. Thank you for inviting us. We appreciate it a oh, lot. No, thank you. Yeah. Thank you for uh, this... accepting our invite. Oh, no problem. <laughs> oh, so, guys, we're gonna be shooting shortly. Mm -hmm. yes. They're coming in with like makeup people and all of this. You see? Okay. See that? Mikey's gonna sing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> They just told me now, they're like, okay, you're going to sing. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you ready? Are yeah. you going to sing too, RJ? Um, I'll think about it. <laughs> That's a no. He will not. Trust me. So RJ's getting his makeup done. Yes. First makeup. I know. This is so strange, actually, come to think of it. This is strange that RJ is now, like, doing this kind of thing. Usually it's him sitting right there while I'm in the chair. I like it. I like that we're both working now. He always used to be like, I don't want to be an artista. I don't want to be a celebrity. He actually doesn't need makeup, but they're just going to put a light powder. They add makeup because the lights are so bright and it like totally washes out your face and you like glow because of the shine, especially me. Oh, I need coffee to wake up, you know what I'm saying? Styling RJ's hair. Let me see the final product. Yes. So cute, babe. You are so, so good looking. That's given. <laughs> Ew, not when you say that. Alright, guys, my turn. Hello, Po. Hello. Anong pangalan mo, Ate? Anthony. Anthony. Should I style my hair too? Or okay now? So look, the concealer, liquid foundation. Look, they put it under my eyes, so it removes my eye bags when she smudges this, so that I look more awake, even though I'm like tired and getting sick. Powder. 
I almost feel like I became lighter. Give myself a nose bridge. <laughs> oh boy squad, I'm not liking this new artista style RJ. <laughs> now giving me eyebrows. Because under all those lights, my eyebrows disappear, I guess. I remember when I was doing a lot of TV before washing this off every night. Wow, it's quite the adventure. <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah, what should I do with my hair? I don't know. There's a little bit of wax in there. But... I guess she's volumizing it. Oh, I love it. It's got such height. Salamat, Anthony. Yes, and I'm done. What do you guys think? Oh, wow. I wish I could stop my hair like this every day. Looks good. Uh, Does it? Yeah. You look good too. That's beautiful. <laughs> I hate this. I hate this. You're doing the show by yourself. Kuya, anong pangalan mo ulit? Pano. Pano? Pano. Kano. Yes, Kano. I remember him. He used to give me the massages for, was it Bubble Gang or Party Pilipinas? Yes. So here backstage, one of the perks is you can get massages while waiting for them to shoot. And, oh, feels really good. Okay guys, going to rehearse my song. I'm really, I'm sick, so. What I love about the show is they perform to live band. There's the set. This is Mukal. Hi. <laughs> They're just briefing us now as to what we're gonna do. Yes. Okay, so after the song. After the song, uh, naka reset na kayo dalawa ni RJ doon. So, na nakaupo. Yung nangyari last ano, Easter Sunday na oh. she airs in my Instagram. RJ, are you gonna talk? <laughs> Speak as much Tagalog um, as you can because my Tagalog's not good. For Filipino TV. It really helps to speak more Filipino because the majority of the people will be able to relate to you more and understand what you're saying much more. Although you can answer in English, it's fine too because the Filipinos speak English and understand English as well. Different sentiment when you speak Tagalog, you know what I'm saying? Guys, I'd like you to meet some special friends of ours. Hi, what are your names? I'm Denise. I'm Ina. And they are vloggers, and you're a couple. Yeah. Yes, awesome. Wow. And they're also guesting on this episode. Tonight this is with Arnold. What's the name of your channel? Arnold. Yeah, what's Denise, the name of your channel? Denise and Ina. Denise and Ina. Denise and Ina. Follow them yes, on YouTube. Please. Yes, <laughs> all right. High five to LGBT YouTubers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and happy Pride Month, guys. Happy Pride Month. <laughs> yes, and because we're Filipino, we're taking pictures. <laughs> guys, I'd like you to meet the man himself, Mr. Arnold Clavio. Yes, I'm the yes, man. Yes, the man, the host of my, tonight's show. My eldest son. <laughs> Good to see you again. <laughs> oh no. I always run into this guy. He's playing golf in like Guam and no, stuff. No, no. Uh, no oh, charity for charity. Yeah, very nice. Okay, I think we're gonna begin. We're doing a show briefing. They're going through the flow of the show, so everyone is on the same page. 
They've also given us water in this mug. Guys, I'd also like you to meet Anton. Yes. Hello. Anton, you're a singer, right? Yes, I'm a singer to meet him. Awesome. And you have a concert coming up. When? June 15 at the Cunera Astronome. I hope you guys can watch. Uh, it's gonna be a fun show with my special guests. Yeah. New guests. Michael Pangilina, Eugene Velasquez, my Sinda, and uh, Raging Rivas. Plus many, many more. Awesome. So you guys, watch. I will try to make it. All of you guys in Manila area, be sure to attend Anton's concert. Yes, support. Thank you very much. You're welcome. RJ's having issues with his mic pack. You're such a newbie, RJ. It goes in your pocket. And hide the, hide the cable. Otherwise, it'll look like you got a tail. Okay, RJ, are you ready for this? Yep. We're about to shoot Mabu High Squad. I gotta let you go. And then I will see you guys during the commercial break or something. Good luck to us. Happy Pride Month. Stop doing your pokey face, RJ. I hate when you do it. <laughs> Guys, we're on commercial break now. I'd like you to meet Russell, who's also a guest on Arnold tonight. You are here to share your inspiring story. You are magna cum laude. Cum laude. Wow. I'm the first trans woman to graduate our university as cum laude. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much. And happy pride. Yeah, happy pride. Okay, we're about to film again. Yes. This is going to be so fun, guys. Okay, second commercial break. RJ, you all right? Yeah. Arnold, you're the man. So good, so good. It's an icon, legend. All right, guys, and we're done. Yes. What a fun, fun show. RJ, great job. Yes. <laughs> I w I like my hair. I wish it like stayed this way. I also like my new eyebrows. Seriously, like, can we just like put tons of spray on it and just keep it that way? What's up, Mabu High Squad? Yes. All right. So we are here now in Amare. Amare. There's Nika, Raquel, and RJ. Mm -hmm. We're here at Amare because we're gonna do something very, very interesting, Mabu High Squad. You guys have been waiting for this for so long, ever since we came out on the Easter. We're gonna finally do a Q&A based on questions that you guys sent, right? RJ, are you ready to answer truthfully? Yeah, we'll try our best to be honest. And open. We'll try our best. <laughs> we are going to be honest. He means open, okay guys? So here we go guys. This will be our Pride Month Q&A for you guys. 